Please welcome the Right Honourable Alan Bustard. Alan Bustard is back again running for office, and with this new voting system, he could just succeed. But what exactly are his policies? Abolish all taxes. Free housing for everyone. No more tuition fees, of course. And free electricity to anyone who votes for me. Do you realise we can't afford to do any of these things you're promising? <laughs> of course we can't, you silly thing. We just say we're going to make these changes. Yes. Then, when we get voted in, we'll just blame the other lot, saying they stopped us doing it because it's all in the national interest. <laughs> 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 and of course, with AV, even if they don't vote for me, I'll probably still get in. <laughs> You know, the really great thing about a fudged coalition is that neither of us need to carry out a single promise of our election manifesto. Of course, the best thing about AV is never having to say we're sorry or to pretend that we care. <laughs> Well, here we are at the National for the three o'clock, and they're off. It's Looney Loft and Green God, followed by UKIP Girl and Tory Boy, and close behind is BNP and Labour Lad. Lib Dem now in third place. Now it's Labour Lad and Tory Boy neck and neck, and Labour Lad really going for it. Now Tory Boy is trying to make up ground, but it's a little too late. And first past the post is Labour Lad, then Tory Boy, and Lib Dem in third place. Oh, hello, what's this? The judges are looking confused. Number three, Lib Dem, has been declared the winner. What a mix-up. I'm obviously thrilled to be declared the winner. Uh, I didn't expect it. Um, I thought I came third. I'm gutted. You know, I thought we crossed the line first, but now they're saying number three won the race. Doesn't make sense, does it? The candidate with the most votes may or may not win, depending on whether they gain 50% of the vote or not. After that, it's down to your second preference vote, providing you vote for an unpopular candidate. So then your second and your third choices will be added to the most popular ones, which means that now... If it's easy, even though the majority vote for one person, the loser could still win. No, that's not what she said. If the winner gets 38% and the second gets 32%, then the contest is still not finished because what they do now is if the runner-up gains more second votes than the winner, then number two or three is now the winner. OK? If I went to the betting shop and I put a bet on, I don't know, red, because it's black and red on roulette, and even if red don't come, black comes, I still win. So after that, what happens now? You count everyone's third choice? No, you can only use the third preferences for those people who have already been eliminated twice. For those who have... The person you vote for first is going to be the one you be your most passionate about, but then the second one's going to be more tactical. What? You've got numbers two and three all in the same pile? No, you have numbers one, two and three all mixed together, and then after that it goes to round four, and then on round five, and then... How could you have so many votes? It's like, if it's meant to be serious, then one vote should mean that's it. Can you explain all that again, please? 